think we're almost there. There we go. Awesome. Very good, very good. Here we go with Dead Secret. This game is freaky. Freaky, 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 freak. All right. Because I've only got one ending so far. I've got this ending D. Um, ending S, A, B, C, D. What does S mean? Safe? Ending A, B, C. Hmm, ending D. Interesting. Okay. Oh, I need something. Hold on a second. I need to get something. I'll be right back. There we go. All right. All right. Let's see what we can do with this game. Continue. Stop it. Stop making fun of me. Hmm. Ah, this game scares the bejesus out of me. Alright, so... We've got the safe. But I need batteries to the flashlight. Because this is open now, right? There's nothing in here that we needed, right? Because what we found out was that we could, um, put this mask on, what happens? So that dude is not he- oh. So he keeps looking at that. See, I want to go in here, but I can't because when I go in, I, I can't see anything. There's no, like, flashlight. And I have a flashlight, but... It doesn't have any, um, batteries. And now this dude is, like, checking me out. Or at least he was before. That's interesting. And now he's not... Wait a minute. So that's a place, though. That looks like a place. Can I go that way? Where's that taking me? It is taking me somewhere. But I can't see crap. Cannot see anything. This is so scary. What do I see now? So he's still there. Like it's a secret room. All right, well, let's, let's go there. Weird stuff back here. God, I have this feeling that somebody's gonna like come after me or something. <laughs> I'm just so scary. Oh crap. 
crap. What does that even mean? Does that mean somebody's gonna come get me? And now no one's there. Great. Oh, I'm terrified. Oh, it's a battery, but I need two. Good, I got at least one battery. So I can't put the battery. No, I can't do anything with that. Um, oh, what's this? Dear Diary, I was thinking about Dad today. I finally got some confirmation from the insurance company, which fills in some blanks. Here's what I know so far. Dad went to war in 1940 to the Philippines. He had some minor injury and was discharged in 1944. He was the only member of his unit to survive, the rest having died in a submarine. In 1946, his parents' home in Illinois burned down, and he turned up to collect the insurance payout. At least, somebody did. He didn't have any other family, so it must have been him. But after that, I can't find any trace of him. Then, in 1952, the name Harris Bullard turns up in the footnotes of a research paper from Oakley College. Is this dad? If so, what was he doing in the years after the war? Maybe he went abroad. There are some inconsistencies. Dad studied physics, not neuroscience. And Dr. Harris Bullard of Oakley College seems to have a chemistry background. There couldn't have been two Harry Bullards at the University of California in the 1930s, could there? Scariest thing for me <sighs> is that Dr. Bullard looks nothing like the one photo I have of my father. In the photo, his face looks different and he's not so tall and skinny. Of course, he would have been younger as the photo was taken before I was born, but maybe it's not dad in the photo at all. I changed my major to neuroscience and moved out here with one purpose, to figure out if Dr. Harris Bullard of Gove, Kansas, is the same as the man who promised to marry Mama in 1939. It's been two years and I'm still not sure. I don't have the guts to ask him. What if I'm wrong? What will that make me? Dear Diary, got a letter from the Herreras today. They are good parents, even if they aren't my real parents. They sent the letter to me at Dr. Bullard's address, which means they know I'm living here. I wonder if they are worried. The whole town seems to have decided that the only reason I'd stay here is that I'm sleeping with him. I don't care what the small-minded bumplins, <laughs> bumplins around here think, but I hope the Herreras aren't worried. Maybe soon I can tell them what I'm really... Wait a minute, did I just read the whole thing? Where's the diary? I don't know, maybe I... I might need to go through all that again at some point. We read all this. All right, so can't do anything else in here. Is that right? Um, gosh, what if I put this stinking mask on? What am I gonna say now? I'm so terrified to go back, but I know I don't have any other choices.
afraid who's going to be in here. Oh, Jesus. This is such a spooky game. Is that dude still here? Hanging out? No, he's not. But what's going to happen when I open this door? I'm going to be terrified. I'll be right there. Please tell me something scary is not gonna happen. <sighs> can I go down? I can. though until I can get another battery. Maybe I put a piece of paper in there? There's a missing, uh... <laughs> oh yeah, I've already done that. That's right. find another battery is what I need to find. No batteries in there?
I am thinking that I need to put the leeches inside the bottles. So, can I take the bottles and put the leeches in there? found the fourth bottle. The fourth bottle is right there. It was. Is it not going to let me take the bottle? So there's another bottle somewhere. That's what I need. What's this? Okay. So I need to find one more bottle. Little fraud enterprise Bobby and I are operating has paid off. Since the beginning, I've had suspicions about Will Carter's true identity, but I cannot confront him without evidence. Several months ago, I started paying Bobby extra to steal outgoing correspondence from a particular individual's mailbox. Steam open the letter, give it a read, and then send it on its way. It's the most easy trick in the book, and Bobby sure doesn't like it, but I found it to be. been locked away for safekeeping. When I have one or more two pieces of the puzzle, I'll nail cutter to the wall. I'll have to do it quickly. The device, my ace in the hole is almost finished, but it's inflated. 
have to go get them first. Hmm. Okay, then. Alright, we're clearly... I need to find one more bottle. Where am I going to find one more bottle? But it seems like, though... Do I need the bottle? See, because when I put this on, he's right there, pointing at it. So... It would seem like... So when I go down here... The door is stuck. There's the flashlight, there's the batteries. So if I take the small knob... Yeah, it doesn't go there. Um, and I can't, like, break it with a flashlight. No. And then I can't use the battery on it, right? Okay, so... So how can I get that open? There was nothing in these, right? Okay. Were there any batteries? Is there anything in here worth taking? Well, I'm going to cut to the cheeks here because my wife needs me to do some things. All right. We shall continue this later. So for those of you who have been watching, thank you so much. But I'll catch you next time.